Hello everyone, I'm Lieutenant Hirama. I work for USAFA's admissions office. I graduated the class of 2019. I'm here to answer as many questions as I can today. A um, little bit about myself, I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada, but grew up as an Air Force brat. I'm going off to pilot training in August, and while I was at the academy, I studied physics with a focus on astronomy. Hi everyone, I'm Lieutenant Gabrielle Singler. I graduated from the Air Force Academy last May 2019. Right now I work for the Air Force Academy's admission office, so I'm really excited to be here today to answer all questions you may have about cadet life. A little background about me, I'm from a small town called Forestville, California. While at the academy, I majored in astronautical engineering. And then after I leave the admissions office, I will go to technical school for space operations. Do you still have to take standardized tests to get into USAFA as enlisted? Yes, although if it's been a long time since you took them or you're not happy with your scores, we highly recommend you retake the tests. They must be current within the last five years. I'm a junior and I've recently started the application process. What are some tips for me during this time of preparing? First thing, don't delay the essays. Practice the CFA all in its entirety, just like you're going to take it, and really focus on your extracurricular activities and your grade. What we are looking for throughout your high school career is four years of English, four years of math, four years of science, three years of social studies, two years of a foreign language, and a year of computer science. You know, take classes that uh, will challenge you. We love to see STEM classes. We love to see advanced classes like AP, IB, things like that. But the reason we wanna see how your leadership is in high school is because when you graduate from the Air Force Academy, you will commission as a second lieutenant in the Air Force or Space Force now. So what we mean by your leadership and your leadership potential roles is what you do outside of the classroom. So do you play sports? Are you a team captain? That's what we're looking for. You know, have you been a team captain since you were a sophomore or maybe even freshman? Are you a part of clubs like Civil Air Patrol, Junior ROTC? Do you have a job? Uh, you know, I had a job all pretty much all throughout high school. We're looking for things like that that show that you as a whole person are well-rounded. How do I contact my ALO? You'll be assigned a mentor ALO after your pre-candidate questionnaire has gone through and your application moves to the candidate phase. Later on in the process, you'll also be assigned an evaluator ALO who will do your interviews with you. How can I improve my chances for a congressional nomination? Every nomination source has a different process and deadline, so you're going to have to look up the specifics for the sources you are applying for. We highly recommend you apply for as many as you can because it'll increase your chances at getting the nomination itself. How many essays did you end up writing for admissions to the Academy? There were three essays. One of them was optional. We highly recommend you do the optional one because it gives us a better idea of who you are as a person and if you would be able to thrive in the Air Force Academy environment. Do you have to get the exact scores posted for the PT test on the application? No, so the posted scores are averages. We take scores both higher and lower, but those should be a goal for you to try to hit or exceed. How do you get into the academy? Well, first step is to go to academyadmissions.com and do the pre-candidate questionnaire, which opens March 1st of your junior year. And if you're interested, we're doing virtual tours now, which you can find at academyadmissions.com. What's your best tip for the congressional interview? Practice a lot. Get your parents and teachers and friends to ask you questions that you might be asked during the interview so you can get used to answering them on the spot. Do people have their own room or do you have to share with someone? Usually you share with someone freshman year, you'll share with one to two people, and then senior year you might be able to get a single man room, but it depends on your squadron job. What majors are at the academy and can you get a PhD? We have 27 different majors at USAFA. You can apply after you graduate for a PhD and master's program, but that's going to be done outside of the academy itself. Do you have to have any experience piloting or knowledge of planes when applying? No, you don't. So you'll learn everything you need to know about aviation during basic training and freshman year. And then later on, the airmanship programs will let you figure out what being an Air Force aviator is like. How much free time do you have outside of homework and class? It really depends on your major and what you choose to do with your time. I'd say on average about two to three hours to relax, do what you need to do, go to the gym, whatever you want. How are the first two years at the academy compared to the third and fourth? The first two are a little bit more strict, a little bit less freedom. Um, but leadership opportunities and responsibilities increase as you go, as well as classes get a little bit harder as you go as well. What is drum and bugle corps like at USAFA? It's a lot like band, so you'll practice every day after school, you'll perform at noon meal formation, football games, and other sports events. Can you choose your career in the Air Force or are they assigned? A little bit of both. So you'll put in preferences for the jobs you're interested in, and then you'll be assigned your job based on your class rank. At the end of the day, though, it is up to the needs of the Air Force. Are you required to practice march and drill during this time? 
Yes, during basic cadet training, you'll learn everything you need to know, and then you'll practice these skills during noon meal formation throughout the years and during annual parades. Does the Academy have internships with companies like Lockheed Martin and Boeing? USAFA does not have classic internships with companies like this, but we do have a lot of research opportunities through the departments where we can work with big companies like Boeing or NASA. What's the first day at the Academy like, and do you live in the dorms all four years? Yes, you'll live in the dorms all four years. The first day of the Academy is in processing day, which is a complete whirlwind of getting settled in your room, meeting your squad mates, and learning the very basics of being a basic cadet. What was your most memorable experience so far at USAFA? Probably being a basic cadre, being able to see the kids go from being civilians into being basics and all the way into being actual cadets was really, really rewarding. How long is the academy? USAFA is a four year long undergraduate institution, but if you're selected for the prep school, the entire experience will be five years long. What's one thing you wish you knew going into the academy? It really is what you make it. So depending on your major and your clubs and your extracurriculars, you can either work for 13 hours a day or you can have a really easy time. It really is what you enjoy doing and what you choose to do. Any tips for an incoming 2024 cadet? Stay motivated, enjoy time with your friends and family. Don't stress out too much about it. And when you get to basic, know that all four years are gonna be team first. So go into it with that attitude. Congratulations on your appointment. What was adjusting to the lifestyle at USAFA like? It's a culture shock at first, but you fall into a rhythm pretty quick. Um, there are a lot of resources available for help, so ask for help when you need it. Do you recommend applying to multiple academies? It's entirely up to you. Apply to the academies that you would be happy at. It also depends a little bit on what you wanna do after graduation. And if you do choose to apply to multiple, then some of the application does carry over, like the nomination interviews, medical exams. Why did you choose USAFA out of all the other academies? I chose USAFA because I've always wanted to be a pilot and USAFA is the one that gave me the best chance at that. Um, the other academies do give incredible opportunities and it really depends on what you wanna do after graduation. Can you go into the academy with a green card or do you have to be a citizen? You must be a US citizen by the time you enter the academy. How do I register as a future Falcon? You can register for the Future Falcon program at academyadmissions.com. This will notify you whenever there are any admissions events in your area. You will not get a confirmation email, so please only register once. Is it difficult for online schooled students to get into the academy? So, no, absolutely not. It's not more difficult for someone who was homeschooled than someone who went to a public or private school. We're looking for you as a whole person. So just because you didn't take classes in a traditional classroom doesn't mean that you can't excel in your academics. No, it does not make it any harder to get into the academy if you are homeschooled. Can you transfer to USAFA from a community college, still do four years at USAFA? So yes, absolutely, you can transfer from a community college or university to come to USAFA, but you don't just transfer over. So if you leave a university as a sophomore, you don't start the academy as a sophomore. You start at basic cadet training and then go all four years throughout the academy. You cannot be 23 years old by July 1st of your incoming year. If you are, then sadly you are out of our age range and you can no longer apply to the Air Force Academy. When we um, are looking at your application, we look at your prior academic record or PAR for short. And what that is, it's a combination of your class rank as well as your GPA. So the prior academic record is based on our evaluation of your transcript as well as your you know, uh, school profile, your senior schedule, things like that. So we can get a, um, a good feeling of what you do, what your classes are, how you are going to excel, that sort of thing. What we normally tell students is if you score below a 620 on the evidence-based reading and a 580 um, for the math on the SAT, uh, we tell students you're not normally competitive for a direct appointment into the academy. But you can still be considered for our um, our prep school located on base in on in Colorado Springs on the Air Force Academy base or for a Falcon Foundation scholarship. What we tell students as well is if you do not complete, you do not compete. So do not self eliminate yourself. If you think that uh, my grades or my test scores aren't good enough, we will make that decision. As we use super scores, so if you take the test ACT, SAT twice, we'll take your highest scores of each test. So it actually bumps up your your score. So it's a really cool thing that we have. I still join even if I got expelled my freshman year of high school. Yes, absolutely. Finish your application, 
send it in. We will look at, you will provide in your application the reason of why you got it. Yes, we will take that into consideration, but we're also going to be looking at your academic achievements as well as your extracurriculars, just like we do everyone else before making this decision. All humans, we make mistakes. We'll take that into consideration, but it won't be a, oh, you got expelled, sorry. So don't worry about that. But I like that question, that was very interesting. Thanks so much for having us all on here today. It's been really fun answering every question that you guys have. Hopefully we got to everybody. Uh, if not, feel free to visit academyadmissions.com for a lot of the information that you might be looking for. Thanks again. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We hope you got some useful information out of this. And if not, please go to academyadmissions.com and look up whatever you need to look up or email us. Mm -hmm.